Your your scab is always just random. It's a toss up. So like, how do you get out? Uh, you gotta know where the extra points are, dog. Oh, okay. So if you go to the the if you could just go to Google and search Tarkov maps, you'll find a whole bunch of maps that you should keep up on a second monitor, and you should learn customs like the back of your hand because a lot of the beginning tasks are on customs. Okay. Okay. So this is. Oh my God. Okay. You're about to play one of the most complicated FPS games in the world. If not, probably right now, the most complicated one, short of maybe an Arma 3 mod or something like that. So, Great. Uh, it's, there's a lot to it. Just if you have any questions, it, I, it depends on how you, like, I don't want to handhold if you don't want me to handhold. Um, you know, it's... Because I know you, and I know, I, I know that you, you are the, usually the type that very much likes to, like, throw yourself at it and learn it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so... For you, I was basically what my plan was was to be available as a resource, and Great. then if you had questions, you just fire away, and I will answer. Phenomenal. Okay, so so do you think the best the way for me to kind of get into it is for us to do uh, a raid together, or for me to just jump in and ask questions as uh, I need to? I would start with doing one do a raid with me so i can okay. show you all the movement stuff because actually okay. physically moving your character is complicated if you want to look through the menus and learn yeah. where things are and like just just look around for a little while okay. and and then when i'm done with this scav run uh we can get in one together and oh, i can show you all the movement actually if you want i if you pull the stream up right now i can show you a bunch of the movement stuff that i was talking about because it's That's important a fantastic idea so let me let me do that real quick um choose your character bear or you see -E us ec uh bear you say bear so if, if you choose bear you get uh flannel clothes eventually and uh muscly arm t-shirts if you choose you you get jeans and you can understand the things that your character says because he speaks english Oh, because the bear bear speaks Russian. He only speaks Russian. Duh. No, okay. for like yeah, if you if you do comms, if your guy takes damage, if he says things, if you hit the the mumble button, that kind of thing, it we're, all you hear is Russian. We're gonna we're gonna do sec. We're gonna do sec. Chat's, chat's saying I should be bear. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. All right. Well, I'm, we're, we're gonna pull your stream up then. So I'll um. Okay. Tough timing. Cause I'm, I just got sniped at by somebody, but he didn't he didn't hit me. So. All right. now. Okay, go for it. So, hi, Jordan. Welcome to Tarkov. My name is Dr. Lupo, and I'll be teaching you how to even move your character around at all because it's really hella complicated. So, uh, obviously, WASD, standard movement. Uh, you'll notice the UI elements are permanently up on my screen because I have gone into the settings and checked that, which is going to be important right now. Bottom left, you should be able to see it eh, relatively well right there. Uh, you have the, the little bar on the far left is how tall your character is standing. There's crouched there's standing and you can hit x to go all the way prone there also is if you hold down c the crouch button by default and mouse wheel there are a number of different levels of elevation you can choose because peeking between boxes and around corners shit like that is gonna be very important so c and mouse wheel you'll notice in the bottom left corner too the volume changes depending on what my elevation is because as you crouch more you get quieter the bottom slider if I'm not holding anything and I just mouse wheel is my movement speed that I choose. You see the slider going all the way down and also that affects the volume that your character is moving at. So right now I'm crouched and all the way down in speed. I'm moving very slowly, but I'm as quiet as hell. This is the quietest form of movement that you can get unless you are prone and crawling in the grass. That is the only thing that is quieter, but you really won't have to worry about that too much. So mouse wheel is the granular adjustment of either speed, as you see right there, or holding C elevation very important next thing to know is the green bar is your stamina as you are spending your stamina you see it's going down going down you use stamina to do everything basically except for walk at a normal pace you use stamina when you're holding ADS and the heavier the gun the faster your stamina will go down uh, right click obviously is and it's toggle and you'll want to keep it toggle because when you toggle and untoggle do you hear this sound other players can hear you ADS. They will hear you and they'll know if you're in a spot. So you'll give away position. So I don't do hold because I don't want to wear my finger out. And if I'm like, I need to, to do something and I'm holding an angle, you want to keep it. So uh, that's why I use default. On top of that, when you're ADS in, the next modifier key you want to get used to using is left alt. So right now there's a little bit of sway in the gun. I tap left alt, it holds. 
You can only hold your breath for so long, and that will use stamina, especially on a heavier gun. Uh, and over time, there's a limit the amount of time you can hold uh, your breath. No matter what, eventually my gun is going to sway a lot because I can't hold his breath anymore. You wait a couple seconds, it'll reset. So left alt is your hold, hold your breath. It also is your modifier for a lot of the movement. So let's say I'm behind. I'm like, this is a wall. I'm at this wall, and I know there's a dude behind it. If I hold left alt and hit S, I can blind fire around a corner to the right. You only can blind fire around to the right when you're trying to choose a side, or if I hold left alt and hit W, you blind fire over the top. And you, this is super important because if there's people that are pushing you, you know they're there and you just want to take shots, you just take shots. Um, so there's that. Left alt does a lot of those things as well for anybody that did not know that. Q and E, obviously lean. The, here's the other thing. So let's say you're like, I can't really get this exact angle and I want to expose less of my body. If you hold left alt, do A and D, you can do granular adjustment of your lean as well. So left alt and any of the directions do things, okay? So there's that. So if you're like, I want to peek out just a little bit. To reset that, you just tap one of your lean keys and it goes back to normal. The last thing is left alt and one of your lean keys will do a step out. And your character, you see my legs, he full, like half of his body will be exposed there. But if like somebody's pushing up on you, you're like, I need to take shots at him. They're about to be there. You go, bam, and, they're, and you, you get the pop out on them. And actually, and peeker's advantage is huge in this. So if someone's holding a hallway and you're like, I know he's there, you line it up, you pre-line it up, left alt, Q, tap out, and you have that, that you know, 10th to 20th of a second, or 10th to, to 5th of a second, where you will get the shots off. So again, left alt and any of the, any of the WASD QE buttons will do things. Um, they're all super important. Mouse wheel is super important. Pay attention to that. And any of just, like, just knowing your status in the bottom left is huge. Because when you ADS and you start shooting, you'll use stam as well. So let's say you're like, you're sprinting around, you're like just running out in the open. You're like, oh, I'm gonna run into guys, maybe, but you're not thinking about it. I'm trying to burn my whole my stam out. And actually, jumping does it as well. Jumping will spend your whole stam. You'll notice the green bar turns to red. When it's red, that breathing can be heard. You can't jump, and your ADS is gonna be very wobbly. See that? It's like, oh, because he's he's breathing like you, you have to worry about those things and the more you play the longer your character will be able to hold his breath do those those kind of things all that so um that is all of those in addition here's the next thing that's important t i don't have anything on there right now but t if i had an attachment will turn it on and off that's big because you'll need to know if like like if you have a flashlight or a laser if you have a laser what where i'm right now is called point fire this is aim you know aim fire ads but point fire is from the hip and if you have a flashlight or a laser or any of that stuff and it's turned on your point fire accuracy goes up and it's substantial you'll want to have that on but people can see those things if i if i had a laser on this gun and i was pointing at the wall people would see the laser if they saw you know if if, if you were pointed at a doorway and they'd be like oh there's a dude about to walk through there and they will shoot you so you got to get real good at you're about you're about to engage and there might be hip fire required hit the t button turn it on and then you'll push into a room and, and do your thing so because like those you got to be used to turning that stuff on and off um same if you have like a visor if i had a visor on right now and actually um I'll show you some of this stuff in a little bit, but uh, N is turn on and off the attachment to your helmet. So like if you have night vision and you're like walking around, you have the night vision on, you want to check something real quick. It's starting to get bright. Maybe it's morning because the, there is process of daytime during the game. Like it, the sun actually moves and everything. You want to check with your NVG or put your face shield up and down. Sometimes I'll keep my face shield up if I'm out in, a, in an open field because I'm like, I want to be able to see and I'm not about to be in an engagement where I need the face shield down. But then I'm about to walk into a building. I'll pop that thing down with N and move in. Um, G is grenade. You also, and this is a big one. Let's say I had a grenade right here or any of these things. The way you key bind these is just float over it, hit four. Boom. It goes to the four slot. You cannot put anything in one, two, and three because sling, back, and your holster are already assigned. V is already your melee. But four through zero can be key, key bound on the fly could be grenades you can put a pistol up here and set that to four you could do any of that um so like if i'm like i want to put this other bandage on zero boom there it is do not click and drag you gotta get used to that if i'm looting something on the right side over here there is a there's a whatever you're like checking could be your stash could be a box you're looking in 
if you hold left alt and left click it it will try and equip it if you hold left control and left click it it will move it into a slot in your inventory the rig pockets or backpack whichever one is available um so control clicking and, and left alt clicking if i'm like looting a thing i'm like oh, i gotta move that over boom control left click because you could do this but that's time dog you, you ain't got time you gotta get real good at boom boom and same with moving it back and forth you just left control and left click to move to and from the inventory uh if you ever get in a situation like this where it's like a door that you have a bunch of options for a door uh and you're floating over it mouse wheel will change the selection that you're on so you just like take and then f is uh is interact all these keybinds like i said there's a billion of them you will get used to it eventually there's a lot of stuff like you said it is an extremely complicated shooter there's a lot of movement things like if i'm like peeking this i'm like ah oh, c and mouse wheel i'm like uh, i want to look nah want to look uh nah want to look that's where that's where that kind of thing is important or let's say let's say i'm like looking through a bunch of slats c and mouse wheel there i've now lined it up and bullets do come out of the gun out of the barrel not out of your eyes so have it like i might if i line it up perfectly i'm like about to shoot this guy right here this bullet will hit on the, the metal frame so you got to be cognizant of where the end of the gun is not where you're looking let me try and find a gun um that has anything on it maybe i can find a dead body um o checks the time double tap o and you'll see all your extract points and that'll fade away automatically eventually but i have 27 minutes left in the raid and i can go to any of those locations those locations are all based on my memory uh there's no map for this for reserve in the game you just have to know it uh or learn it the hard way so since i'm a scav if this is an ai scav that is not a a raider since I haven't picked a fight, I should be fine. Problem is, if it's a guard, then Gluhar, the scav boss, is inside this building. This dude's out in the... There's a guy out over there. Walk around. Two, two guys stopped and looked at each other for a second. One ran, which makes me think that that might be a player scav. Okay. I'm hoping there's there's dead guys around here, because, like... This is a pretty contested area underneath that I'm in right now. Is um... I'm going to there's a, a there's rooms called like mark rooms uh where you have to have a key for it and inside there's a ton of loot yeah this room at the end the door's already open so somebody's already looted this it could be dead guys in here or something uh nothing oh, did leave, leave behind a hunter okay well so there's another site there's the clicking i was telling you about um there's no i don't have an alt an alternate or anything like that i can't adjust anything oh when you're adsing the number in the bottom right is your zero how many meters if you page up and page down you can change the zero and you see kind of the site bumps and adjusts um and you do need to worry about zeroing your shots from a distance it I, it helps a lot but knowing the distance that you're about to shoot at comes from literally just knowing a map um this is a hunter that guy's dead i thought it was a player for a second well done. I didn't get another uh, magazine, so we're just going to have to shoot this guy with 9mm. He's dead. Quickly check in here. Uh, I don't have any other ammo for that. More guys coming. So I piss off scavs now. They're out. He's pissed. He took one shot, he's still alive. Yeah, 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 bud. Come on. That's me yelling back at him. My mumble key. There's some pretty good lines in the game, too. This was kind of... He's gone. He had a pistol. Gonna loot that. Look, left alt. Boom, straight to my body. Boom, boom. I want his glasses, too, because they're funny to me. Uh, float over a thing, hit the delete key, it drops it immediately. You see, I'm not, like, all these menus, all these functions can be done through the through right click and then go to the, the option you want, but I fly through them fast because it's easier and you're going to die less if you just go quick. So I'm going to move that over there. you got to learn about stacking backpacks inside each other. Stacking backpacks. I bet Jordan's face is, like, trying to figure it out. And I love that. I love that he's probably dumbfounded right now. Here, I'm gonna grab this res respirator. Doesn't do anything, just looks cool. 
literally just looks cool now i have another uh, another magazine for the shotgun uh here here you go here's another check you want to know what kind of ammo it is hold left alt hit t boom uh 12 gauge buckshot less than half of the magazine you don't know how, how many exactly you need to personally count those potentially hit reload if you hit reload one time just r one time see how it it put the magazine back in my rig because i had space but if i need to you know i'm gonna swap swap back if i'm in a pinch and people are pushing me and i'm like shit, i need to mag swap fast double tap r boom it just chucks the magazine out faster reload but you have to pick this up so double tap r to do a fast reload standard r is a, is a single reload we're going to go back over to the saiga i'm going to uh, left alt and t check the mag it's got green tracers nearly full but it's not full and i know that this mag is full so i'm going to i'm going to hit reload swap them out if i don't know like see how this is a question mark out of eight if i don't know how many uh rounds are in it if you middle mouse click it you'll get the spinny wheel when it completes it is eight out of eight tells you how many uh, here's another thing jordan back to the menu over here down here is your hydration and energy this is from eating food this is from drinking water i have apple juice in here you double left click it this is gonna give me 25 hydration and five energy right click use all right click context menu for pretty much everything if you want to do it if i'm like look so I'm in the middle of, of doing something. I have my, my Saiga out. I'm going to switch to my shotgun. This is, uh, so I have a Saiga 9mm and a Saiga 12 gauge. But I see that this is a question out of 8 in the TT, my pistol. Double left click, middle mouse click in the magazine. You do not have to swap to the weapon to check. There's 7 out of 8 in there, which means I'm going to go over here. Hit 1. Hit R. I'm going to reload back over to that 8 out of 8 mag. And now I know all my weapons in the inventory have full, uh, full ammo. Boom. If I get to engagement, I'm set back out over here we're gonna see if we can't get into a fight i kind of want to dot guys yelling at me because he's mad he went inside it's an ai scout he's trash that's how you know he's dead so he's got it he has a pump shotgun which is good i don't know where that shot fucking came from um so i'm gonna right click this guy i'm gonna unload the shotgun shells hit delete chuck that on the ground i'm gonna swap back over to my saiga right click wait uh, right click unload so the magazine goes up there i don't even want to carry the shotgun anymore i'm going to unload those rounds too delete that these stack up to 20. go back over here left click move that shotgun across my inventory check his triton i know this is a bigger rig so i'm going to move these things down over here delete that wait for that to finish identifying i you left click in the unsearched areas i just heard movement inside go swap to the shotgun i know this is unloaded because it said zero on the front right there it's going to put those shots in i use an attachment too t to turn it on t to turn it off uh if you do have it on control and t will change the intensity that is a mounted grenade launcher that i'm getting away from because i don't want to die uh top left corner of the screen status effects uh i'm bleeding i have a broken limb and i'm experiencing pain i'm gonna use a bandage which is bound to five to stop the bleeding there's a dead player right there it's a pmc body i know that there's still guys out here though because i can hear him walking around that guy's fucking dead close that door i'm just basically doing a instructional here's what i'm thinking about as i go through saiga's trash this is an ak grabbing that i'm gonna search his pockets he's got a dog tag which is worth money doesn't have anything in there stand up there's still guys that are pushing me because they saw me i also know that there is a there's a guy on the the mounted grenade launcher back there uh that is mad uh -huh. all right i'm gonna quickly pop this heel even though somebody's probably about to come to the door this might get me killed we'll see here in a second oh good coughing a lot because i took chest damage that should yeah, shut up dog all right open the door break your oh. what's up dog there's another one he's dead That was a player scav, so I'm dead now. Um, it's regular scavs don't shoot that fast. So there you go. There's a full playthrough with a lot of a lot of keybinds. That's not even all of them to do everything. Um, I played a little more aggressive than I normally do. That giant there's mounted grenade launchers on that map. So somebody was over, and based on the sound direction and me knowing the map, oh, you're undefined now. Hey, hey. So what do you think? Wow. Yeah, I think a lot of things.
Yeah, it looks that way. Um, so, cool question. So, so uh, the red identifying the bleeding and the yes. black identifying the broken okay. limb. Um, I saw some some what looked like what looked like dots to the right of it. Okay, let me let me pull up that. Do you still have my my stream up? I You're, can. Yes. Yeah. Let me show you where how to tell all the health stuff because that that's in there too, great. and that's an important like piece of the puzzle. All right. Um, so I, I've loaded up into an offline. Um, I've got a, an HK 416A5. It's a full auto 556 uh, caliber weapon. Uh, mine is actually an extremely kitted one. So it's going to be a little interesting. Uh, but I will start with. Uh, so you'll see, I told you before, uh, if you control and right click, you mm -hmm. switch between, if you have multiple sets of sights on your weapon, like I have a canted, which is my little PK 06, it's a little guy sight. I also have what's called a FLIR. It's an infrared, um, or a thermal, sorry. So I can see if the, like if there's a bad guy, and I won't be able to show you. If there's something that has heat signature, it shows up bright red if it's within 100 meters. Um, and also in the bottom right of the site, you see a 2.25. That's the current magnification. If, I, if while on the site, I hold left alt and hit right click, it goes up to a nine times zoom. Wow. So I, I technically have three different site setups with this. Uh, one of the things you'll run into is like uh, left alt and right click also changes the sighting uh, style. Like for this PK, you'll see it adjust between uh, the, the, the little targeter, the, the dot, and then the targeter with the dot. Um, I typically run the targeter, but that's it's going to modify both sites at the same time. Um, okay. So you just have to keep that in mind. So it's back down to 2.5. Um, T. Uh, I don't have an attachment on this, so I can't show you that. Uh, B is your change of rate of fire, single fire and full auto for this one. Some SMGs have single burst and full auto. Some weapons, like a TX-15 is a DMR style 5.56 weapon platform. That is only single fire. You can't full auto it. Uh, but the health thing you're talking about, so all your, yo, here's a, here's a fun one. Uh, all your body parts, arms, legs, stomach, thorax, and head have individual HP. If you go to zero on the head or thorax uh, and you get damaged through that, you die. Okay. You can get your head or thorax zeroed, but we call those blacked out, uh, because in the, the little thing in the top left, you see there's all the pieces there. If, uh, yeah. Right now they're gray, they're full HP. If they are totally black, they're gone, quote unquote. Uh, you can get them back. In my inventory, I'll show you down here, there's a survival kit. It's 9 out of 15 charges. You can repair a limb uh, and get it back to 1 out of a reduced maximum HP. So, like, my arms are max 60. If I use the survival kit, they'll be, like, 50 or less. But, okay. but, you'll, you, but you get them back. And if you don't have an arm, your aim is super shaky. Uh, your grenade throwing is weakened if it's your right arm or left arm chat. I don't remember which handed the guy is when he throws. Maybe it's left arm. Um, if you get a leg blacked out, you hobble, you can't sprint. Um, but if you take painkillers that numbs the pain, and even if you have mm -hmm. a blacked out leg, you can sprint again. But when you sprint on a blacked out leg, you take damage. Mm -hmm. Um, leg breaks can be fixed with a splint. All the different meds have different uses. Any item, if you want to know what it does, like, uh, like the, the painkillers, I double left click on it. It'll mm -hmm. reduce my hydration by seven. It removes pain for 170 seconds. It takes three seconds to use. Um, an IFAC is like the big boy heal in the game. It will stop your bleeding. Uh, mm -hmm. The little cheese slice, the AI2, we call them cheeses, those don't stop bleeding. You have to have a bandage. Gotcha. On top okay. of that, typically if you have a bleed, uh, while I could use this and it takes three seconds to use, a bandage is faster. So it's going to stop the bleeding. And if you can bleed out, and if, you, if your leg is bleeding and, you're, and you don't stop the bleeding, it's going to mm -hmm. go down to zero, and then you lose the leg. It's blacked out. So you have to worry about those kind of things. Okay. Um, the, um, I'm looking at, uh, is, is that, is that am, I, am I looking at heart rate, 120 over 80? Am I looking at uh, body temperature, is that 36 degrees Celsius? Am I looking at poison level and nuclear level? So those four stats right now you don't have to worry mm -hmm. about. Okay. They, they're not fully implemented in the game. So they're there, and eventually okay. you will have to worry about them. Um, but right now you don't have to. Uh, question, if your heart rate is higher, will things like painkillers um, like work and be worn off faster? When it gets implemented, I'm assuming yes, but the heart rate, that stuff doesn't do anything right now. So you, okay. the, only two, the only three things you have to worry about down there are hydration, uh, energy, and your HP. 
Okay. That's actually a good question. Great. Okay. Oh, um, Chad did point out something. Let's say your, your arm is blacked out and someone shoots you in that arm. The damage that you would take to the arm is distributed evenly among all the other remaining limbs and body parts you have. So, oh, if, so you, th there's a thing in the game called leg meta. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm about to blow your mind even more. Uh, uh, Chad mentioned something about leg meta. So there are about a billion different kinds of ammunition in the game. Um, and they all have different stats. They have um, armor damage, they have armor penetration, they have uh, health damage, and they have fragmentation chance. Okay. Um, so if, let's say you have, I'm going to show you on my screen, this Gen 4 Assault is armor class 5. Mm -hmm. In order for a guaranteed penetration, you need roughly 50 or higher armor pen on a, on a bullet. And these numbers are not listed in anywhere in the game. You have, I would recommend downloading an app on your phone called Battle Buddy when you get a chance because it will tell you, uh, you can look up ammo types and be like, what is this 7N39 545 caliber uh, bullet? What, you know, how, why, why do people run this? It's because it has crazy high armor penetration, which means like, if, if this is armor class 5, a shotgun buckshot <coughs> has basically no armor penetration. So if I get shot in the chest with a shotgun wearing this, I laugh and then I shoot that guy and I've taken pretty much no damage because it just doesn't go through. But if that shotgun guy shoots me in the legs, he can kill me in two or three shots if he gets all the buckshot in because my legs don't have armor on them. There's no leg gotcha. armor in the game. So gotcha. some, some people will run super high health damage, super low armor pen ammo and shoot for the legs and that's called the leg meta because it is a guaranteed way to just to rip through people. Understood. Okay. What else you got? Um, are there any adrenaline factors? Um, so there's a lot of injectors in the game. Um, okay. you, right here's a morphine. This is a, it gives you 10 energy, takes 10 hydration. It's, this is a painkiller. There are okay. other medical, uh, medical injectors that do tons of different things. There's one called Propitol. This, which is yellow, a yellow injector uh -huh. that will heal you over time. So you jam it in, you keep, and and then like if you're missing health on something, then you you it'll come back eventually. There's ones that like uh, the adrenaline one will uh, lo increase your recoil control. Uh, mm -hmm. So there actually is an adrenaline needle you can use, and then when you sh when you shoot, wow. you'll be more accurate. It doesn't last okay. a super long time, but if you know you're about sure. to go into combat against thick boys, you throw that one in and then keep going. Gotcha. Um, does it help with um, mechanics under pressure, adrenaline, for yes. that period of time? Okay, the, great. Yeah, that stuff. Um, and things like, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to unload a magazine. You have, if you like want to check what kind of ammo is in a mag, right click, do unload ammo, you pull bullets out one at a time, which means mm -hmm. if I dumped all these mags, like I'm going to, I'm just going to go back in and, and I'm like, let's say I'm in the middle of a fight. I'm like, okay, I got to reload. And if I know there's more guys, I'm going to double tap R. It's going to chuck the magazine on the ground. And then I'm like, okay, my other mag ha is missing five. I'm like, I need to pack that. You have to drag the ammo onto the magazine and you, sh you shove rounds in one at a time. Gotcha. So you'll need to keep, be cognizant of those kind of things. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. I feel like that's enough information for me to to get to now, give it a shot. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, just kind of kind of get going. And I think, like, obviously, as we're doing the thing, I will definitely be asking questions and having cool. you remind me of things. But wow, yo, claps and chat. Thank you, Doctor Lupo. There's, like I said, there's a, a a lot of education. Oh yeah, that needs to happen. <laughs> there's gonna be stuff that I forgot. So. I, show, I showed him bleeding and broken limbs and stuff, chat. And we'll, and what I'm going to do is, is, since you're live, right? Yeah. I'm going to pull your stream up on my sec, on my laptop. And if I okay. see something that I that you have a question about, if you're like, what is this? Awesome. I will look over and I'll be able to try and tell you. Fantastic. Okay. Um, I'm going to refill my coffee, grab a water, and um, I'll be ready to, I, I guess I, I need to add you somehow. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get that taken okay. care of when you get back. Okay. Okay, great. I'll be right back. Who's called Dr.